I have been doing it for about 18 months. Uh, probably too long for how bad. No, <laughs> I am. Uh, no, I've pro probably about three years. I think it was about 18 months ago when I started. I was at, a, at my gym on the Whirl, um and I didn't really know much about it, but I'd seen it on Instagram doing your Challenge Tuesdays. Yes, and I got that. Yeah, you should, you should. I, um, I started those and then it got me involved in calisthenics and I bought your, um, I know, got your beginner's guide and then it went on from there. Um, it was tough, but um, but good. I didn't realise how bad, how unfit I was when I started. So, <laughs> like how un incapable of doing a push-up I was and stuff like that. So, uh, no, so it was good. Um, I think it's just the small goals, and um, it it takes it can take quite a long time to do it, and you're building up, and it just just that success, like building that success and. Um, Oh, just, I love it because, you know, there's so much to do. There's, it's never going to be boring. Just showing off. Showing off, uh, having, having loads of party tricks. That's <laughs> I'm very easily bored with most types of training. So when I was going into the gym and just doing bicep curls, like, like, like Seth, basically, doing my Seth and getting my bicep curl on. Um, I, I didn't really get why, because I'm not a bodybuilder, so, you know, I wasn't really getting that why. Whereas with calisthenics, I find that it's more move orientated. So there's something that I want to be able to achieve, so I just work towards that and it's more specific. Tim and Jacko uh, put me through many years of pain as my SNC coaches when I was swimming. Um, and then obviously I kind of was hearing about when you were launching the School of Calisthenics and um, yeah, you kind of introduced me to calisthenics and it's something that I've kind of taken with me now into my new sport. Well, I had a lot of trouble with um, shoulder problems, so we kind of tried to incorporate that as, you know, trying to get that shoulder in the right position and taking some loads through it. Um, and it was something that I was able to do since I was a kid. Like, I used to walk around on my hands at home, not really realising what it was doing for me. So, um, for me, it's all about keeping that posture right, keeping the shoulders in a good set position. And I've kind of transferred that now into uh, kayaking. Uh, hugely important and I think um, like it was no secret when I came back from um, the World Champs in 2015 that that was the real pinnacle of when you and I were doing our sort of mindset work together and um, I had gone for five years without doing a personal best time and we started working together on on that mindset and that was really what was holding me back from unleashing what physically had been possible for years and then I went to the World Championships and during that three week period I PB'd three times in three weeks and I think that it really is down to getting in that right frame of mind and so for me it became the most important part of my training um, and that's something that I've kind of tried to take on to my new sport and um, that positive mindset and kind of negating any distractions from you and your own happiness and your own focus um, and so I think as I've become older, the mindset has become one of the most important parts of my training, you know, and so I have to work on that as much as I have to work on the skills in the gym and the skills on the water. I loved it and, you know, it's something that I've really missed since I've been in the canoeing programme, you know, we've got our own strength and conditioning coaches, but I do miss working with you guys and I think, you know, that you're both very motivating and um, when, you, like I say, when you're spending a lot of time doing something, trying to learn a new skill, you need somebody who's teaching you that, who's as passionate as you are about it and as passionate about having fun and being the best that you can be at whatever you're doing and so for me that was really motivating to be around all the time and you know that's what what I wanted out of a strength and conditioning coach you know to, to get that element of fun but know that they knew their stuff motivated me and were having just as much fun as I was so uh, yeah I, I still follow your videos and uh, try and do some of the slightly more weird and wacky exercises when I can. It's such a massive help, really, um, not just to me, but also um, the people I teach. Because straight away, I mean, a lot of people think, no, I can't, how, how on earth am I going to do that? And they don't believe that I actually feel like that or I felt like that before I started following you guys. And uh, we all really help each other. It's such a supportive community and, you know, positivity oozes every part of the School of Calisthenics. 
What I really love doing is coming down to Nottingham to the, to the classes as well. Um, again, such a family atmosphere. It's just an hour of playing and just having fun, you know. So, that's yeah, just brilliant. You guys, the, the energy you give, like, uh, when you speak and you got so much passion for what you're doing. That, I think it's the community side of it and that you and Tim are just, you, you kind of give us a big hug. <laughs> Your input to everything, that you're kind of really passionate about what you do, which really kind of helps, I mean, through Instagram and what have you, it's just, it's kind of like you're always, you can be one-to-one -one with somebody if someone's stuck on something. It's not like a lot of people on Instagram, they maybe have huge followings, you know, they show calisthenics, they teach it or whatever, but if you sent them a message, they would, never, they would just ignore you and not get back to you. And I think you guys are just like, you're really passionate about every single individual that is part of the School of Calisthenics, which I really like. It's just like being part of a family, really. Um, you've, you've made it such fun for all of us. And we all really feel like we're, we're part of something special. It's, it's a friendship, family kind of thing. Um, we all have a, a good laugh and uh, we all support each other along the way. We're all at various stages in our calisthenics journeys, so to speak. Definitely do it, because I'm 40 and I only started 18 months ago and before that I didn't really have much of a fitness background either. Um, and I have children, I have all those pressures, but it means I can do it around them. Um, and if I can do it, then I know anyone can do it. 